Couser. I am from Antwerp, Ohio. And what's this truck? It is a 1973 International 4300. It has a 1991 model remanufactured Cummins N14 with a 10-speed original transmission. And it's September right now, but you had this truck finished just in time for a show last month. Yes, right? right before Harvester Homecoming. We finished it the night before. It was quite the project. We started in March, and there was not really much downtime. <laughs> and the next day after you left the show, it was straight in for a frame alignment? Yes, we uh, <laughs> test and tune drive to the show, and directly after the show, it went to get a front end alignment. And then the winter project will be an interior? Yes. Going to try to keep it as original as possible. Probably throw some air conditioning in it. That way it can be driven to other shows a little further away. I will say it wasn't supposed to be this hot today, <laughs> and it's definitely really warm, so air conditioning seems like an excellent idea. Yes. Um, we are at the 22nd Annual Flat Rock Creek Festival Truck Show, part of the Auburn Heritage Chapter ATHS. Can you talk a little bit about your family's trucking background? Oh uh, Yeah, so we did this show kind of as a to get everybody together and also to help this. It's held at the John Pauline Historical Society. They were starting to get in some rough times and we decided to try to help with them and bring a truck show, bring people people to help with donations. Here we are now, 22 yeah. years later, still going strong. And you said you have a couple little boys who are into trucks too? Yeah, so a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old, they helped on the restoration as much as they could. They are pretty much forced into the <laughs> trucking, <laughs> historical trucking stuff. They pretty much- Didn't are, stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, it's it's in our blood, uh, it's where we're at. Do they like new trucks too, or not so much? Just the uh, they do, um, but the old ones still catch their eye more than the new ones. And as for old ones, and this one in particular, you said you chose these colors for a certain reason? Uh, yeah, so my grandpa used to have a bunch of 4300s back when they were new, and he, his paint scheme back then was red, white, and black. It's kind of why I chose these colors, and kind of went with a different scheme just so it was different than what he had, but still the same. And then nice pinstriping too there. Shout out to Todd Hansen up in Wasion, Ohio. He come down, did that for me in a couple hours. So Hanson did it? Yes. Yeah, yep. nice. Talk about the exhaust. <laughs> uh, so that was something, I guess we'll back up. I put air ride on the cab, so I had to figure out an alternative mounting for the exhaust, and that was kind of what we decided would look the best and very happy with the outcome on it. Parts came from Chrome Depot, and yeah, we kind of fabbed it up in-house uh, the brackets are off of like a mid-90s international and those are pretty common but everything else besides that we mocked it up and fabbed it in the, in the shop i'm sure plenty of people will wonder is this just going to go to shows are you ever going to put this to work well i do have an excavating business my employees would really like to see it on a low boy pulling some equipment around so maybe parades just for fun yeah yeah, yeah. As long as you don't get any rock chips in the uh, right. paint. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Who did the paint? Another big shout out. One of my employees. He used to have his own body shop, and his name is Steve Heiler. He did the paint in his shop at his house. Uh, we had multiple late nights in order to get it done for homecoming. He did a great job on it. Well, everyone looks forward to the future restoration department of your excavating business. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. The boys are set in the future, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and also, I'll mention your green cab over. It's a 4070A, right? Yes. That's often here. People, I'll, maybe I'll throw a picture in here. But in a couple of years, you'll have someone else to drive them here for yes. you also. Yep, absolutely. It's, uh, it's in the shop. It's got some oil leaks. It's a good old Detroit, so we just got to tidy up the oil leaks a little bit. I understand. I just put <laughs> quarter fenders on my truck a couple days ago, took it to get fuel, and they're already covered in yep. oil. So, yep. joy. But Absolutely. now you have a second toy to play with, too. Right. So, yep. excellent. I look forward to seeing what you create next. All right. It better be an international. <laughs>